Hey, Levi, you, know, you guys had that really strong drive there and early in the fourth quarter with the chance to take the lead there. Um, you know, how much did it kind of zap you guys as momentum, you know, just with the holding calls and the numbers, um, you know, just throughout the night? Uh, you know, first off, I want to thank God for the opportunity, you know, going out there. Um, but, you know, it's tough. You know, I mean, don't beat yourself battling ourselves there. Um, but uh, I didn't play up to my standard tonight. Um, obviously, you know, trying to make a play and turn the ball over. Um, so um, I take this on me. If anybody wants to point fingers, you can point them at me because uh, the loss is on me. So. Levi, did it kind of feel like on that drive that you guys were going to take a 14-13 lead there and you know, maybe have a chance to win this game? And how yeah, I mean, much did that impact the play calling where you had to pass it on the other side? Uh, you know, I feel like we had a few drives that were like that where we really started rolling and then, um, you know, just kind of uh, shot ourselves in the foot there. Um, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we lost a turnover battle. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm most disappointed about. So, um, but yeah, we just got to play cleaner. We got to play clean football. Um, you know, obviously a, a championship like atmosphere, you know, 35,000 or whatever was out there. Um, so it was loud, had some false starts in the beginning, some holdings, and, um, you know, we just got to clean up. So um, I'm proud of our guys, though. Uh, the, effort was, the effort was phenomenal out there. Um, so. What's the biggest thing that you think you guys need to do to get back on track and get a win to get the ball next week? You know, uh, just play clean. Um, I mean, you guys saw we were, we were moving the ball on that Boise defense. Um, and then, you know, just holding false starts, stuff like that. Um, you know, credit their, uh, their fans for making it loud and a hard, hard place to play. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we got to handle business up there and we got to play clean. Um, so uh, just playing clean and then uh, winning the turnover battle and then, you know, just making plays in the passing game. Um, I was really proud of our guys, though, in the passing game. You know, uh, Isaiah played his tail off. Um, Josh played great. Um, Trayton played good. And um, Wyatt had a big third down catch that we needed. Um, I think it was in the third quarter, uh, which was huge. You know, offensive line did a really good job protecting me all night. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, just playing cleaner going into next week. It might have a really physical game. Obviously, that big run you had for, to move the chains there, you came out for a player. Are you doing all right? Yeah, I'm good. Um, I was a little bit confused. I was running on the safety. and. I didn't understand why he wasn't um, going for a tackle, and then I didn't realize it until the corner put his helmet right here in my my ribs. Um, uh, that's why he wasn't trying to tackle me. So, um, you know, just got the wind knocked out of me, but I'm okay. So. You touched on Isaiah, but that's five touchdowns in the last since you've been the starter here. What can you guys do to, to make that connection earlier and more often? Um, you know, credit Boise, they did a good job. Uh, they clouded him a lot during the game. Um, so they did a good job with that. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, he's a playmaker. He's going to make plays. Um, but like I said, um, we just can't shoot ourselves in the foot. Um, we have all these drives that are, you know, getting started, getting rolling. We get the first first down and then a uh, big play or like a five yard run and then it gets called back for something. And, you know, um, it's just inexcusable. So we just need to we just need to play cleaner and I believe that we will. So